Okay, Marlo here with the video version of a post I put on my website a while back called Essential Pro Tools Keyboard Shortcuts. I <clears throat> have a little bit of a cold today. Sorry about that. Okay, my website, logicproanswers.com. This is the post, and I'm just going to take these keyboard shortcuts in order, and we'll just go over all of them. Okay, uh, horizontal zoom is R and T, so... R to zoom out and T as in Tony to zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. And then vertical zoom is hold control and option and hit the up and down arrows, down arrow to zoom out and up arrow to zoom in. So that's control option, up and down arrows. Okay. And then uh, to zoom in on a selection, let's say we selected this region here. And we went Option F. We zoom in on that selection, Option F. F is in Frank. And then if we want to zoom out to view the entire session, we can go Control Option A to zoom out and see the whole session. Okay. And then uh, Zoom Toggle is E. So we'd hit the E key to toggle zoom. Okay. And then we're looking at uh, Open and Close the Transport which is command one, one on the numeric keypad, opens and closes the transport in a separate window. Okay, and what else have we got here? We've got the escape key, of course. The escape key toggles you through the various tools. So we hit the escape key and we'll step through all the tools. Okay, and then we've got uh, toggle mix and edit windows so you hold the command key and hit the equals key and you'll skip back and forth between or you'll toggle back and forth between edit mix edit mix edit okay and now we've got uh, opening the MIDI editor MIDI event list etc if we click on a MIDI region we hold the control key then hit the equals key then we'll open the MIDI editor. If we hold the Option key and hit the Equals key, we'll open the MIDI event list. And then if we hold both the Control and Option keys and hit the Equals key, we'll open the Score editor. And then, of course, if we want to close any of these windows, we just hit Command W to close. So let's say I hit Control Equals and open the MIDI editor. I hit Command W and close that window again. And then um, to open and close event operations, we're doing quantize and that kind of thing, we'll click on a region. You don't have to click on a region, but let's say we we're going to quantize this region, we'd click on it and then go Option e, uh, 0. Option 0 will open the event operations window. Okay. And then we can select a quantize value and hit apply okay and what else we got on this list we have changing grid values and nudge values so here we look at the grid value we hold the control and option keys and hit the plus and minus keys on the numeric keypad we can step through different grid values we hit the plus key we go to larger grid values and if we hit the minus key, we go to smaller. Okay. And the same with the nudge values. If we hold the command and option keys and hit the plus and minus keys, we can step through the nudge values. Like so. Of course, same thing. Plus will take us to a larger nudge value. And minus will take us to a smaller nudge value. And then without holding any keys, if we want to click on a particular event or region and then hold the and then hit the plus or minus keys we'll step through and we'll move the selected event or region forward or back by the nudge value so currently the nudge value is on one bar we click on this region and then we hit the plus key we'll move that region forward by one bar at a time. If we hit the minus key, we'll move the region back by one bar, or whatever the nudge value 
happens to be. Okay, so looking at uh, separating a selection. So let's say we set the nudge value at, uh, or sorry, sorry, the grid value at uh, quarter note. And then we make a selection. We want to separate that selection. We can hit either B, the B key. We'll separate that into a separate region. Or we can hold the command key and hit the E key. We'll do the same thing. Okay. Now, looking at uh, copying and pasting events or regions, if we wanted to make a copy of this region, we just hold the Option key, click and drag. That's a pretty obvious one. Okay, and then to mute, to mute this region, we would uh, then click on the region and then go Command M, M for mute. Okay, you can tell this region is muted because it's grayed out. This region is not muted. Okay, and then so we got mute regions, create new tracks, and import audio. So to create new tracks, we would just go Command Shift N N for new, and then the dialog comes up for creating a new track. We can select a number of tracks and just hit Create. We'll create a new track. And then to import audio, we'd go Command Shift I, I for import. And then the dialog comes up for importing some audio. We can select some audio that we want to import and bring that into the session. A couple of key commands that are new in Pro Tools 9 create new playlist is Control backslash. So if we wanted to create a new playlist on this track. We select the track and then go control backslash and then of course the dialog comes up to give us the opportunity to give that new playlist a name. Now we have an entirely new playlist on this track. Of course if we wanted to go back to the old playlist we can select it again and create a duplicate playlist, uh, another copy of the same playlist with the same performance or the same arrangement, we'd go control command backslash. Now we can make another copy of the same playlist. And then of course we wanted to make edits to this. We could do that. Okay, so there are those essential, what I consider essential Pro Tools keyboard shortcuts.